good day children welcome to today's class i hope you all did your exams well and from today we'll be starting with the second term okay and we will begin with a new lesson new topic in english new voices and today we'll be doing part 1 first we will learn the new words let's begin teacher will say the word and you all will repeat after teacher three times okay children first word dive d i v e dive d i v e dive d i v e dive second word nobly n o b l y nobly n o b l y nobly n o b l y nobly third word leap l e a p leap l e a p leap l e a p leap fourth word strive S T R I V E strive, S T R I V E strive, S T R I V E strive. Fifth word, likewise, L I K E W I S E likewise, L I K E W I S E likewise, L I. K E W I S E likewise sixth word tot T A U G H T tot T A U G H T tot T A U G H T tot seventh word stern S T E R N stern, S T E R N stern, S T E R N stern. Eighth word, classes, C L A S S E S classes, C L A S S E S classes, C L A S S E S classes. Ninth word, turn, T U R N turn, T U R N turn, T U R N turn. Tenth word, grave, G R A V E grave, G R A V E grave, G R A V E grave. Eleventh word. white w h i t e white w h i t e white w h i t e white twelfth word froggy f r o g g y froggy f r o g g y froggy f r o g g y froggy thirteenth word called C A L L E D called C A L L E D called C A L L E D called 14th word master M A S T E R master M A S T E R master M A S T E R master 15th word school s c h o o l school s c h o o l school s c h o o l school 16th word froggies f r o g g i e s froggies f r o g g i e s froggies f r o g g i e s froggies 17th word rule r u l e rule 
R U L E rule R U L E rule eighteenth word study S T U D Y study S T U D Y study S T U D Y study nineteenth word vests V E S T S vests V E S T S vests V E S T S vests twentieth word coats C O A T S coats C O A T S coats C O A T S coats twenty first word rushy R U S H Y rushy R U S H Y rushy R U S H Y rushy twenty second word beside B E S I D E beside B E S I D E beside B E S I D E beside twenty third word pool P O L pool P O O L pool P O O L pool twenty fourth word first F I R S T first F I R S T first F I R S T first twenty fifth word clean C L E A N clean C L E A N clean C L E A N clean children we are going to begin with the poem okay and we are going to come across many words so let us learn some meanings of some words let us see the words let's see the meaning of this word beside okay what is the meaning of beside at the side or next to beside means at the side or next to okay see in the picture the ball is beside the box the ball is beside the box okay. coat what do you mean by coat a piece of clothing with long sleeves okay can you see in the picture yes it is a type of clothing with long sleeves we usually wear it over the clothes that we have already worn like we if we are wearing a pant or a shirt and we wear a coat over it okay or any clothing whatever you have worn and over that you wear this coat and we usually wear this coat during winters okay so what is the meaning of coat a piece of clothing with long sleeves which you wear over your clothes okay see this meaning the meaning of dive what is the meaning of dive to jump into water with your head and arms going in first in the water okay now uh, see that child see the girl she is diving in the water okay when you dive your arms and head they go first in the water yes your hands go first then your head goes okay when you dive okay what what do you mean by dive to jump into water with your head and arms going first in the water okay usually the swimmers yes when they uh, swim they dive in the water taking this position with the with they raise their hands up above their head they keep it straight and then they dive in the water they take a jump in the water okay next rushy what do you mean by rushy full of plants 
that grow near the water okay so you see a pond or a pool uh, lots of plants that grow around the water okay that is called as rashi full of plants okay plants that grow near the water okay and it is full of plants that area is full of plants so we call it rashi west now what do you mean by west a garment worn under a shirt a garment worn under a shirt you usually see boys and men wearing this vest you know banyan banyan okay okay it is worn uh, under a shirt or a t-shirt first all the boys and men they wear this vest and over there over that they wear their shirt or the t-shirt or the kurta whatever they are wearing okay for but usually all the boys and men they first wear this vest okay next grave what do you mean by grave serious okay when somebody is very serious having giving you a serious look okay that is called as grave nobly nobly means in the right way whatever we do we have to do it in a right way okay the meaning of nobly is in the right way strive what do you mean by strive work hard you should always work hard you should always strive to success okay that is work hard if you work hard then only you will be successful right so strive means work hard now introduction now i am going to ask you some questions okay which will give us an introduction to the poem what is the poem about okay now i am going to ask you some questions and you all are going to answer okay what is this picture what is this picture yes it's a picture of a school yes you all go to school right and why do you go to school why do you all go to school you all go to school to study you all go to school to learn to read and write yes what do you learn would do at school you learn to read and write isn't it then what else do you do at school what else do you do at school do you uh, only study all the time all the time you keep on studying reading and writing only you do no you also play isn't it in the school you play you do different activities like drawing and craft then dance and music all such activities you keep on doing in the school right and you have different competitions also and you have different activities for all the children you would celebrate different days and in the school children's day teachers day isn't it and you have your annual programs in the school so we just don't study in the school we just don't read and write in the school there are many more activities done in the school so what is this picture it's a picture of a frog yes it's a picture of a frog and where do you find frogs you find frogs usually in the ponds lakes near river side isn't it and you can also find frogs jumping here and there on the ground so frog is an animal which can live in the water also and which can live on the land also the frog has got a very long tongue okay and it catches its prey the insects that fly around him uh, around it the frog catches its uh, prey with its tongue okay all the insects 
that fly around the frog the um, frog will pull out his tongue and quickly uh, uh, the, with the help of his tongue long tongue take that uh, insect inside its mouth okay and the frogs they jump here and there and they leap in the water so in the next class we are going to learn a very nice poem about frogs okay so see you in the next class and what is today's homework we have learned so many new words 25 new words isn't it so you all will write down all the words in your book three times okay children and learn the words also you'll be shortly having your dictation test also okay so we will continue in the next class till then goodbye sairam thank you